friends. Oh my, <laughs> my, 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 my. Well, I'm not sure what time it is anymore. I do know that it's morning by now, but I can't sleep because I'm afraid of my own apartment, which isn't unusual for me because I'm still afraid of the dark. I'm an adult baby. But what I'm trying to say is tonight is extra spooky because I'm home alone. Hate that for me. But on top of that, I'm home alone in my apartment that I turned into a haunted house. Because who wants to feel safe in the comfort of their home? Not me, apparently. Let me explain. For a few weeks now, my roommate Diana and I have been marathoning American Horror Story to no end. Which, by the way, no one prepared me for how scary that show actually is. I was like, oh goody, a spooky show to get me in the Halloween spirit. But no, instead I find myself sleeping next to a pink hammer every night. <laughs> but anyways, with that being said, American Horror Story seems to have seeped into my psyche because last Last night, I got the, the, the fun and quirky idea to decorate the ever-living heck out of my apartment with Halloween decorations, and I'm gonna surprise my roomie with them when she gets home tomorrow. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, that's fun, you, you got some cobwebs and maybe a few pumpkins. No. You see, I snapped. <laughs> I snapped hard. Sir, that is not vegan. I don't want it. I don't want it in my home whatsoever. Here we go. This is the most important thing right here. Lil Rock and Rosie from the moment I saw her. I said, well, there's no way she's invited. And yet here she is. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset if she comes to life tonight. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be PO'd. I decorated from midnight to 6 a.m. And honestly, to be honest, it's a masterpiece. The Haunted Mansion called, they want their wig back. But before I reveal my haunted house, here's a little peek at what my apartment looks like normally. Afternoon. Don't worry, this isn't a Halloween costume. It's just, it's just me. Just me. I actually slept, I'm happy to report, but I did have to lock my door in order to do so because freaking Rosie on her rocking horse is right outside of it. It just so happens that that's where she ended up looking best. I haven't even been outside of my room today because I'm afraid. <laughs> I do have to eat at some point, but I think that I will just worry about getting ready right now before Diana gets here. For today's look, I'm going to go with a little something like this. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I also got this costume at Party City. So not only is Diana going to get the haunted house experience, she's also going to have the proper host. <laughs> She's in for a treat, trick or treat, bitch. I'm gonna bibbity boppity boo all over the place. I think I'll start us off with some sick neck tattoos. Cracks in my my delicate doll porcelain skin. Say crack again, crack. All right, let's see if the magic has happened. Oh. Today I'm going to look Whoa, whoa. Well, I'm gonna look like this. I look like a ghoul. 
just using my regular foundation but applying it in bulk so that I slowly but surely get this gray hue. Now I am going to set my entire face with my translucent powder. Normally I would just do my under eyes because I like to use tan powder on the rest of my face because I stay on the tan, but not today. I never use this blush because her mind is so powerful and and she's intimidating to even me. I'm all a flutter. I'm excited to slap her on these cheeks. You better stop! I was just thinking about how random this idea to decorate my whole ass apartment really is because just a few months ago when I was actually shopping for my new apartment, I saw this pumpkin. This pumpkin is faceted like a gem, kind of like my mirrors in the living room and right outside of my bedroom. And I was like, <sighs> This will be my Halloween decoration. I don't need anything else, just this makes me happy. Little did I know that come October that I would be consumed with American Horror Story and apparently that, that does things to you. It changes you because before, after. Um, but while I do this, I thought that I would share kind of a, a scary story. Actually, it's pretty funny. I'd say like maybe six months ago, Chris and Shan came to visit in Los Angeles. So I went out there and I got a hotel to be close to them and hang out with them for the weekend. All night long, everybody was cracking jokes that my hotel was haunted, and I never figured out if they were joking or not. But anyways, we, we enjoyed the rest of our night having several cocktails. I was feeling it, Mr. Krabs, and I go back to my hotel. I'm the only one staying in this hotel. I eat my Chipotle, and then I go to knockout, and all of a sudden, I feel something sit on the foot of my bed. I just feel that sink, that shift in the bed at the foot of my bed. And drunk me just pops her eyes open. I called my mom. And you know how in movies, the parent never takes the kid seriously when the kid opens up and is like, hey, I just had this scary experience, help. Happy to report my mom's not like that. So she stayed on the phone with a drunk me for over an hour while I sang on loop to myself to make myself feel better. Let's a pretzel. Great if there was a ghost in my hotel room that night, there's no way that they stayed in my hotel room after that performance. I just got a call from my mom that her and my stepdad are coming over to see the house. So I need to kick it into overdrive because I want to greet them in my final form. I got this black lipstick from Party City. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna not be right back and then go grab a Kylie lip clit. Oh, but that means that I have to leave my room. <gasps> no, 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 I'm taking you with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hell no. Stop, stop this. I feel like Vixen would be the right choice. <laughs> Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Now I 
am going to eat. I have not done that yet. Really should have eaten before I put on 69 coats of lipstick. So now all that's left to do is heat up my burrito and wait for Dee to arrive. She's gonna be here in a couple hours. She's here. She's told me that she's parking. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna go out there and I'm just gonna like stay posted up with my camera to capture when she gets through the door. You ready, Rosie?